So Shiva Inu is set to break out and is set to move on. That's what we're going to look at. We're going to look and see if if that in, if in fact is going to happen. That's what this video is about to give you kind of an idea of where we're at currently and where we can go. Okay. So with all that said, this chart is showing you uh, basically at the time of recording this video, this chart is literally only about 15, 20 minutes old. Okay. This basically this chart is showing you uh, the, the latest trend that we've had. It's been a slow kind of consolidation and, and, and minor, um, uh, you know, downtrend, but it's been driven by the overall market conditions. Okay. Just to show you what I'm talking about right here, right now, Shiba Inu is trading at a two, three, oh, oh, uh, it's down about 0.5%. Now, if you flip over, you look at the overall market cap, it's at 2 trillion, it's up 0.4%. Remember, I always tell you, zoom out, look at Bitcoin and Ethereum. This is a big deal. If you haven't ever watched one of my videos, give me, give me some time because, um, Bitcoin and Ethereum, <clears throat> really, really impact Shiba Inu. Shiba Inu being a top 14 right here, top 14 um, market cap uh, um, crypto out of about 17,000 or more cryptos. It is driven by the overall market conditions. It moves with the market is what I'm trying to convey to you. Okay, now Bitcoin and Ethereum. Bitcoin and Ethereum, if you didn't know this, make up more than about 55% of this over, over um, overall $2 trillion market cap. Okay, Bitcoin and Ethereum make up 55%. So set a different way, they drive it. They drive the market. Look at look at this chart. Have it moved up, and, and then right there it moved up and it's sideways. Now, if you want to look at, at Shiba Inu's chart, look at that. It followed it, moved up, and has has trended down just a smidge right there. Technical word smidge right there. But you can see, look at everybody's charts. Look at how they all look very very similar. And, and let me look so you can see this. Look at how they all look very similar. See how they all spiked up and then went sideways. Spiked up and went sideways. But you can see my point in Bitcoin and Ethereum look exactly the same. And it is Bitcoin and Ethereum that drive it. Okay, so let's switch back over to Shiba Inu. All right, so a break above these key resistance levels that we're about to talk about would mean a possibly a price rally, meaning the price would move on, the price would go up, okay? Ending a series of bearish weeks. We all know that the overall crypto market has been in a bearish sentiment, a bearish mood in the last three, four plus weeks or more. Okay, so some key resistance levels are two, three, and two, six. Now we've already hit that two, three level. Let me show you what I'm talking about right here. We've already hit that two, three level. We're sitting actually right on it as of the recording of this video. So keep your eye on that. We need to stay above that resistance level. Basically what a resistance level is, is if it, is if the price hits that and it, it, it either A, breaks through it or B, you know, bounces back or really C, kind of goes sideways along that price action. But it's a resistance level. Can we have enough bullish movement, enough bullish sentiment to move it beyond that, that resistance level, okay? All right, now the next one, if we can hold this two, three, it looks like we, which, which looks, looks like we are, okay, then the next one is a two, six, okay? So keep your eye on a two, right, well, let's see, right there, a two, six, okay? Right there, we want a two, six in that, in that range to kind of, that's our next resistance level after this two, three level. All right, beyond that, I want to show you a couple of things, okay? So technical indicators are trading volume, RSI, and moving average, okay, M MACD. So trading volume did spike out on Saturday. Um, the, the bears did step back and push SHIB back under this critical level, but a new attempt appears likely. This is us now attempting to move up beyond that 2-3 level. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now the, day, the daily RSI is making higher lows and also seems close to performing a higher high, particularly if the price can break the key resistance. Remember that resistance of 2.3 or and after that 2.6. If successful, SHIB may enter a significant rally. Last point, good positive momentum on the daily MACD with higher highs on the histogram and expanding moving averages. As long as this persists, SHIB has an excellent chance to move higher. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up there. As always, I truly appreciate you. Thank you for your support of myself, my channel, and my videos. See you. Go make some money.